And I'm like, yeah. whoa. Please like, go to the diary. For, him, for a perfect stranger, you know, mind you, I have my little girl's dad, like, I'm not going to get on your ass about doing it. You've been doing it for a year now. You're still a good mom. You still take care of your responsibilities. You still do every, pay your bills, everything. I'm not going to get on you about it. I'm telling you, I think it's fucked up. I think it's ridiculous. And I think you need to get off. That's all. It's, he told me that uh, once and that's right. it, which I appreciate <clears throat> that because it takes me to be strong to get off for me to really get off of these drugs. This is a year I was on. That's a long time, you know? So my doctor said that to me and I never did them again. I went outside, threw everything away. I had like $600 worth of it, took it through it, threw it everything away and I never did it again and I'm around it all the time all the time people at like work and like my friends you know my mutual like acquaintances or whatever right. are always doing it they're like Amber you good are you what you want they're like come on you know or you know if you want you sure you don't want to just hang out and I'm like nope I'm good. Like I look at it, I just I look at it and like I see it, and I, I get like this. I have this hatred feeling toward, towards it because it was my best friend for like a year. You know, it was the per, it was the thing I turned to to get me through life, and that's not what you need. You need to yourself to get through life. You know, and, and so I hate it. Like I look at it, I'm just like, ugh, it makes me sick. So that was like one of my big life like changing experiences. That and then this past October, I, I got into a really bad car accident, and um, I um. I was usually like, I'm always late for things. I always, I'm just telling you my three like life exchanges. Okay, yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, I, I'm always late for things. I always um, like, I never allow myself enough time. I'm always like run, rushing through traffic. Like something that should take you 30 minutes to get there, it takes me like 15 or 10 because I'm always, I'm, I'm always like late. My family's like, oh, there's functions at three. I get there at four. I'm just, you know what I mean? It's just so rude. It's just rude. And um, so I me being the one speeding my mom always told me you're going to be sorry because you're going to someone is going to hit you or you're going to no you're going to hit somebody and you're going to end up hurting a family you're going to end up hurting or killing or something someone and you're going to feel guilty for the rest of your life and i'm like you know whatever mom whatever so i still sped 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 all the time and um and I was in a, on October 17th this last year. Me and my best friend were at a Halloween store. And I had my little girl who's eight and her little boy's eight. And we went and picked out Halloween costumes. Well, we go in, pick out our costumes. We leave. We go in our cars. She's like, hey. She's like, do you want to car pumpkins tonight? And I'm like, totally. And she's like, okay, I'm going to go pick up pumpkins. This is her talking. You take the kids with you. And I'll meet you back at my house. And I'm like, okay. Get the kids in my car. I have like bags all in my back seat from shopping all day and my best friend literally she's reversing out of her spot you know in her little Volvo and I'm like sitting there and she honks and she pulls back in her spot she's like hey run out the window I'm like what's up she's like Amber she's like how about um, I'll take the kids with me they were already in the car like ready to go with me she's like I'll take the kids with me you go get the pumpkins because you're quicker and then I'll meet you back at the house you know like it, we would get there at the same time because I'm always on the go and I rush around everywhere I'm like that's cool I'm like okay I'm like you guys get out the car get him out the car put him in the car with her she leaves Please go five, to the five minutes later like I pull out of the shopping center I like pull out I look up to my right and like where the lawn chairs are at like that's where the green arrow was and I'm like oh okay I'm like I turn right I'm like green arrow green arrow approaching 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 I go to make a left-hand turn. I look to my right, and there's this car coming 70 miles an hour. And I see the driver of the car go coming over the overpass. And I seen his car like hit air. And I'm like, oh my god! I remember, I remember saying, like, gripping onto the steering wheel, being like, holy shit! And this guy, I see, I saw this guy see me, and he was like, oh shit! Like he saw that he was going to hit me, and there was yeah. nothing he could do. Yeah. Plowed in the whole right side of my car. My car spun around, and I clipped a light pole. And this kid was under the influence of marijuana, and he was like underage, and or not underage, but he was um, didn't have a license, and like all this random things. Yeah, it was really messed up. And I had I was off work from October seventeenth till January like third. Wow. Yeah, like I had fluid in my knee. My knee was like my knee was so big, like it was like seriously like, not the big whole ring, but like this little ring here. It was like the little size, like the size of that. Wow. It was huge. I had like I had a big like um, hematoma type thing on my forehead, like going into my eye right here, my eyebrow, like a big like like risen skin, you know, from hitting the steering wheel. Didn't have my seatbelt on. Used to be so bad about that and. It's not like I hit somebody, somebody hit me. So this kid that was in, in, in a rush when I found out to go to his friend's house, like I'm in a rush to go everywhere, hit me. And it made me realize, like, I think, like, I'm, I don't go to church. I'm, I'm very, like, I really feel like God's with me, you know what I mean? But I don't, like, practice, like, religion. It's not, I won't get into a topic about religion because mm -hmm. that's not me. But I do feel like God is my inspiration. I keep faith <clears throat> in him, you know. And 
when he, the whole thing with the drugs, getting off drugs, you know, that was like six months before this car accident. And that was one of my bad habits. And then speed.